Just need definitions from the first hand I see. Go ahead. Um, indirect, you um, vote for, like, indirect means you're voting for, like, a party, and it's not really directly voting for the prime minister. So, like, what country would this be? Britain. So you're actually voting for a party and they put people in the parliament for you. That makes sense. Keep going. And then direct elections, like in France, they have, you're voting directly for the president. You are. You're actually directly voting for a president. Can you give me another example of a direct election? Because there was one other one that we talked about before today. Directly voting for Congress. Um, directly voting for Congress. Yeah. Go ahead. Click it, Willie. Indirect election, system where voters vote for the party and then the party selects the parliament and the executive. Direct election, voters vote directly for the executive and legislature slash parliament uh, they want in office. You gave me the last correct answer, pick me one. Uh, Congress for four. Congress for four, big spender. Pictionary, we need somebody to draw. Like our group. Yeah, actually I need somebody to draw from all four of the groups, all three of the groups. Come on up. I need one person from each. Got to go, got to go. The clock's ticking. Come on, clock's ticking. Okay, one for you, one for you, and one for you. And maybe Riyadh, grab in the corner over there. Can I use notes? Yeah, you can use notes. And your groups can help on this. You can put one minute on the clock, starting on the 12. I need y'all to draw me the flow chart for the parliamentary system. Starting on the 12. Go. First group's got it. Parliamentary system. And y'all can help them. I need help. What do you mean we can help? I don't understand what we're doing. <laughs> got to draw the flow chart of the parliamentary system. Can I go up there? Yeah, you can go up there. Jordy's not asking. He's just doing his own thing. <laughs> We've been putting flow charts on the, on the board for a week. 25 seconds. Oh God, Willie, help me on this. Do you see them getting this right? And Willie, I need you to help me pick the second person, third groups too, okay? So when the hands come up, let me let me know. I can usually get the first one, but you tell me where to go. Oh God. Man, Noah's killing it. Okay, we're missing some things from Noah. Make sure you draw the boxes. Come on. Y'all can help Noah, y'all. Can help Noah. What do you see, Willie? Uh, that, one looks right. that one looks pretty good, it does. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that one really quick. I think we got a, a winner on this. Let me grab somebody's marker. Yeah, yours. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. If you remember on this, voters vote for the party. Party ultimately picks the lower house of the parliament. Uh, the parliament together picks the prime minister. You could probably have a, an arrow going up there. Uh, cabinet comes from the, the parliament and serves the prime minister. Courts do specifically come from the upper. And what is it, first hand I see from any of the groups, what is the function of the monarch? They actually do rule, and that's actually true. One, two, three, four. They, if they request the, the prime minister from the, the parliament and the parliament cannot provide one, then the monarch rules until they do. That's typically the way that it goes, and you don't necessarily want to do that. Y'all gave me the last correct answer. Click it, Willie, and then touch the house. If y'all will pick me the next category. Got to go. Um, Constitution, for five. Constitution for five. God. I need somebody just from your group to draw now. I have a question. Yes. What is the blank category? It's nothing. So we don't pick you don't have to pick that one. Yeah, I need somebody to draw. This is easy. Somebody other than Lindsay. <laughs> okay, come on up, Kevin. Oh, God. And you can, yeah, you can click it away if you want. Okay, one minute. We'll start it on the 10. I need you to draw that. Got it? Yeah, only your group. Well, they opened up the category. Yeah, but I thought everyone. No, just on the first one. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. On the, yeah, we started it on the 11. Y'all yeah. can guess. It looks like he's done. Something from the Constitution chapter. Oh. <laughs> it's an avocado. Censorship? Like, I mean, of course. 
Hanging a person. Yeah. 30 seconds. I think one of the other groups, at least one of them already knows it. I think that one's already said something. Okay, I think you're getting closer, but what did he draw? Oh, Fifteen so seconds. Maybe draw attention to the part that you want them to. Uh, the noose. Oh, the noose. Oh wow! Yeah, it was a noose. What's the significance of the noose? Y'all tell me the story. Next hand I see will have it after you. Y'all will have it next. You've got it now. Tell me the story of the noose. Oh, I'm sorry. What I just Go ahead. said. Maybe, if that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Ryan, yeah, go over it. Get zoom in on them. Go get them. Five. I'm losing patience. Four. Um, Tell me about the news. Three. They, like, for a Halloween um, uh, decoration, these two guys, um, they con Sarah Palin. One, two, three, four, five. As a joke. And John McCain. Anything else? And John McCain. They hung John McCain. No, they burned him. Like, fired. They burned him like fire. No. <laughs> Anybody can jump in. Your group's got this. Three, two. People were upset, people were upset because they thought that the noose was inappropriate due to like um, American history and how it was like, used to hang people who were seen as like less than. Mm, I'm not uh, buying that. Go ahead, y'all have it. Tell me the story. All right. So uh, they were upset because if it was President Obama being hung, it'd be a lot more of an issue. One, two, three, four, five. That was part of it. Anything else? Uh, John McCain was coming out of the chimney. He was coming out of a chimney like fire? On fire. Okay. On fire. Real fire? No, fake fire. Yeah, they actually had it with fake fire. One, two, three, four, five. Coming out of a chimney. Anything else you can tell me about this? It was a gay couple in like California, I think. It was. It was actually in, 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 in Hollywood. One, two, three, four, five. East Hollywood, I think, is what they said. And it was a couple. Why did they say they did it? Uh, they said it was art and like, freedom of expression. There was something else about it that was kind of important. Halloween. It was Halloween. They said one, two, three, four, five. That since it was Halloween, you could actually have a little bit more fun with this display. There were some people, and Lindsay had started to say this, if it was Barack, that would have been an issue. But really, you know, I mean, they're hanging the woman that's trying to run for vice president. And there was a sense that that has maybe gone a little bit too far. But the Halloween part is kind of significant because since it was that time of the year, things are a little goofier and spookier, I think is basically what the video said. Was it legal to do? Yes. Yeah, it was. It was legal to do under the First Amendment. One, two, three, four, five. When would it have not been legal? If it did not have an artistic, scientific... Um, no, uh, if it didn't have artistic, scientific, or what are the other two things, parts of that? Uh, Five, four, three, no. two, one. Do y'all want in? Doesn't look like it. If, in fact, there would have been violence that would have broken out, then they would have. And I know where you were going. That's not quite where I was going. But had violence broken out or people started throwing stuff and lighting people's houses on fire or, you know, throwing things through windows, that would have been what it was. Um, go ahead. Pick me a category. Y'all have control. Uh, what do you want to do? Congress trip for five? Congress trip for five. Let's see what this will be. Go ahead, Willie. Congress trip for five. <laughs> Minus one for Willie. List all you can. Click it, Willie. Order of discussion and order of debate in the Supreme Court. Y'all have it first, you'll have it next. Order of discussion and order of debate. Please make sure you watch the judiciary videos. Five, four, three. Okay, just the, okay so the first person to talk, well, I guess they introduce the issue, like the Supreme Court justices introduce the yeah. issue, and then they tell the person who's making the argument to talk, and then they get 30 minutes uh, to state their case. That actually sounds really good, but it's not what I'm looking for on this one. Go ahead. Oh, uh, one of the, uh, that, uh, the discussion first, that open discussion is the Chief Justice, and then the one that's, that votes first is Neil Stumper, right? And then the what? The one that votes first is Neil Stumper, right? Well, well, tell me all about order of discussion first. So the Chief Justice starts. So order of discussion is oh. when they're discussing cases. Oh. The oh. Chief Justice speaks first, and then who? Then the one that's closest to him. Closest to him? Like sitting next to him? All right, come decreases, on, man. Five. Decreases yeah. in seniority. So 
It decreases in seniority. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. The idea on this is, is that the Chief Justice will speak first, and then it goes in order of seniority, most senior to least senior. And everybody has got to speak once before somebody speaks twice on this, so everybody gets their turn. How about the order of the vote? The newest member votes first. What's the significance of making the chief justice have the last vote? The one with more seniority would have, like, if there's a tie, he's the one that breaks the tie. Yeah, the idea, and be careful with that, because one, two, three, four, five. It's not necessarily the chief justice is the most senior member, but the trick on it is, is that the chief justice is the leader. The four to four vote, the last vote, would be the one that would be the most important. And if that's the most important vote, then you want the, the chief justice actually the one rather than the newest member doing it. They have the chief and senior speak first, with the idea being that maybe their ideas will influence others, but they have them vote last because the higher up it gets, the more important the votes are. Looks like it's neck and neck for first. You gotta answer something right to get bonus points. So at least, you know, try and answer something. Click the house and pick me a category. Y'all are in second place closely though. Yeah. Oh, we get no, they gave me the last correct answer. Somebody in your, anybody, Enrique, pick me a category. Legislature for two. Good lord, I'm really fed up with y'all. Actually, we already did that. Go ahead, click it, Willie. You gotta make it go black, okay? You're really slipping up here, man. Touch the house. Okay, now, good lord. Jeez, pick me a category. No pressure on Willie. Zoom in on Willie, he doesn't know what he's doing up there. Go ahead, pick me one. Which one? Articles for five. List all you can, click it. Korematsu versus the United States. Y'all have it first, you've got it second. Five, four, three. Pearl Harbor concentration camps. Tell me the story. Don't just give me phrases and fragments. Tell me the story. Korematsu enlisted in the Army, in the Navy, or with the Army Forces, and during the same time, that's when Pearl Harbor bombed, and then he. Wait, did, did he actually, was he able he, to? He didn't because of his health. He had a heart problem or something like that. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Korematsu. Oh, did I give it to the wrong group? Sorry about that. Yeah, you better watch me. Oh, that was the right group? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Korematsu. Korematsu was actually Fred Korematsu. And he was a Japanese American that enlisted in the United States Army. And he was fully qualified to serve, except he had a heart condition and they weren't going to let him. Pearl Harbor was attacked. Mm -hmm. What was it that FDR did? FDR had sent everybody that had some relation or were Japanese American to concentration camps and he ended up having to go to and got had to leave all his belongings mm -hmm. because he was Japanese American. He was like, no, this isn't fair because I enlisted and it almost made it to the army. I shouldn't have to go to the concentration Korematsu camp. Korematsu actually uh, was, when FDR was commander in chief of the armed forces, obviously, he issued an executive order. And the executive order would require all Japanese Americans to be relocated to American concentration camps or American internment camps, depending upon how you want to look at this. There were no trials or anything on these, so they basically were just rounded up because of the way that they looked. And Korematsu challenged this, basically saying, listen, you know what, I was qualified enough to serve in the military except for a heart, a heart condition, and if my background is clean to serve in the military, I should be able to stay at home. Because when they were sent to these concentration camps, they could only take what they could carry with them, and they lost significant portions of, of, their, of their, their, their possessions, I mean, their lives, their jobs, all of it. Tell me more. What happened when it went to court? Anybody in your group? Four, three, two... Why? One. Because of the sake of U.S. Um, national security. National security. Keep they, going. They had to Zoom in, Ryan. Get close. They had to make sure that everyone that everyone um, was doing their due diligence in like protecting the country. Yeah. Going into these constitutions. You buying this, Willie? Yeah, I believe. It. Okay, Willie says it's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now give me something that you can write on an exam. Four. When Bush became president, he, like the first one, he, I think it was Bush, yeah. that he, the, he gave money to the people that were still... What's this money called? Three, two... Reparations. reparations. One. It was called reparations. One, two, three, four, five. How much? I'm sorry, Willie. How much was it? 
It was, and those checks are actually posted. One, two, three, four, five in the, the article. So make sure you take a look at those. Anything else you can tell me? It's way less than what they had to leave behind. It was, it was, not much money. It was way less than that. Anything else? Three, two, one. Y'all have something?